4119 Roanoke. I won't belabor the point, Chief Baird, but whoever came up with the Adopt a Hydrant program, sheer brilliance. I, I had a blast with my son painting hydrants. Oh, and excellent. The fact that it was just a neat program. I enjoyed it. I'm not a public speaker. I'm uh, in an uncomfortable forum, so forgive me. I had a million reasons not to come here tonight, but in the end, I couldn't get past what this council did two weeks ago. You made the decision to remove a sitting member of council, a twice elected council member, because he asked the wrong guy for $13. That's the Cliff Notes version. That's what it came down to. You were all here that night and you all said, it's not about fighting for the constituents. You would all fight for your constituents. It's that he violated the charter. Mr. Capretta's violation was that he didn't call the city manager, or in our case, the chief of police. He instead called the department head. That's what was so egregious that you decided, five members of you, Ms. Hannock, Mr. Falcone, Mr. Rico, Mr. McNamara, and Mr. Carl, you decided that offense was so egregious you should thumb your nose at the voters of this city and overturn an election. That was preposterous to me. I was beside myself with that. But then, worse than that, you did something that I would never tolerate for my 10-year-old child. You tried to hide from what you've done. Ms. Hannock made the implication that the uh, ethics board had ruled and you were bound to abide. The ethics board had made their decision. Mr. Carl chimed in in agreement, and as did Mr. Rico. And I don't know if you're not familiar with the charter, or you're just hoping that we're not familiar with the charter. I brought along section 3.07, just to read briefly. And again, I apologize. I'm in an uncomfortable forum. 3.07, judge of qualifications. The council shall be the judge of the election and qualifications of its members and of the grounds for forfeiture of their office. The council, not the ethics board, not the mayor, not uh, the, le the law department, you, and you made that decision that him calling the wrong guy was grounds to throw him off of council. That's absurd to me. And Mr. McNamara, you made the comment that fortunately was repeated in the paper that we have a system of checks and balances. I, I can guess you've probably had a civics class and you're well aware that we have neither checks nor balances in this city. We have a strong city council. You are beholden to yourselves. You make the rules. You impose sanctions. You do that. Not the ethics board and, and not anybody else. That's really all I have to say tonight, and I appreciate you listening. Uh, Mr. Falcone, you're a, you're a lawyer, a sitting member of the bar. I honestly expected more from you. I really did. I've met you. I've talked with you. I consider myself to be a good judge of character. And I was beside myself when you cast that vote. I really, really was beside myself. I read that article after you were elected and you were quoted in the paper talking about what a, uh, a pinnacle this was for you to win an election and how proud you were. Do you think Mr. Cabretta was equally as proud when he won twice and you removed him from office because he called the wrong guy for $13? Thank you. Thank you.